badass business owners. Do you ever mark up a product thinking you're going to make a certain amount of money, but at the end of the day, you discover that you ended up making less money than you thought you would? It is a common mistake that small business owners make thinking their markup will dictate what their profits will be. While markup does play a role in your pricing, it is your gross margin that is the actual number that you want to focus on because it is the margin on your purchase price that will determine how much profit you have. Are you confused? Don't worry, we're not done. Most folks are at this stage. So let's take a look at the difference between markup and margin. So we're gonna take a look at the basic definition of each term, and then I'm gonna show you some examples that will help it all make sense. Markup is a dollar amount or a percentage that people will add on to their costs to set a purchase price. While margin, on the other hand, is how much potential profit you might make compared to your selling price. I know it's still a little confusing, so let's take a look using some examples. Let's say you have a service that you provide your cost of goods sold, otherwise known as COGS. And it's going to be any material costs that you have, plus any labor hours that you spend to provide the service. For example, if you have $60 in materials and two hours of labor at $20 an hour, that's $40, you would have $100 in costs. So your cost of goods would be $100. Now let's say you tell yourself, I want to make 50% on everything that I sell. So you decide to take your $100 and add half. So add $50 on top to determine your sales price. That's the markup that you want to give it. So now your sales price is going to be $150. So the question now becomes, is your 50% markup going to lead to a 50% profit. And this is where margin comes in. Where markup is based on your costs, margin is determined using your sales price. So using the exact same example, let's see what the margin is on this particular sale. Our purchase price was $150 and your costs were $100. And if we subtract the two, then we know that our potential profit is $50 that we marked up with the initial costs. So at this point, you're like, Timmy, what are you talking about? It's the same $50, but this is where it all changes. Remember I said margin is based on sales price. So for this calculation, we're going to take the same $50, but this time we're going to divide it by the sales price of $150. So $50 divided by the sales price of $150 tells us it's 0.33 or 33.3%. And that's a big difference. Remember your markup was 50%, but at the end of the day, it really actually only gives you a 33.3% gross margin. A lot of times people just call it margin, but it's gonna give you this 33.3% gross margin. And if your gross margin is technically what your potential profits are, then there's no way that you're going to make 50% on this job just from looking at it this way. Now let's do another example to help out. Let's just say a business gets a new item to sell and that item costs them $12. There's no labor involved. They stick a price on it. They put it on the shelf or they put it on their online store. The business wants to have a 75% markup on all of their items. So how much would you mark up this particular item? We take the cost of $12 and multiply it by the 75% markup they plan to do. So $12 times 75% means the markup is $9. So they, when they go to set their price, it's going to be the $12 plus $9 to equal the $21. At this point, we know we have a 75% markup, but what is their gross margin? Remember, gross margin is the difference between the sales price and the cost of goods. So we take our $21 and subtract the $12 in cost, and guess what? We're right back at that same $9. So the markup dollars are still $9, but what is the margin percentage? So as you recall, margin is the markup amount, the $9, divided by the sales price. So it's going to look like this. $9 divided by $21 equals 0.428, or 42.8%. So while the markup is 75%, the actual gross margin is 42.8%. Now, since I know this could still be a little confusing, what we need to do is understand what each of these things are trying to tell you. Remember, your gross margin is the potential profits prior to expenses. Your markup is the amount that you add to cover your expenses 
plus any potential profits. So here's the calculation that I use all the time to help teach people. If you remember this one calculation, it'll help you in so many things. Sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits. Now here's where gross margin pops in. Sales minus cost of goods equals your gross margin, which is your potential profit dollars. And your market must cover both your other business expenses, as well as your potential profit. And that's going to cover right here, the expenses and profits. That's what you're marking up is this section here, because you want to make sure you can cover both of these. Now let's go back to our example. You might recall that the sales price was $150 and the cost of goods were $100. And we also marked it up 50% or the $50. Now this markup amount must pay for any other operational expenses the business has, plus any final profit number that the business wants to attain. The main thing you wanna do is to remember the flow of money through your business. Sales come in, you pay for your costs of goods, and then you pay the other expenses that you have in the business. And if you're lucky and you've done it right, you will have profits at the end of the day that you can enjoy. So your sales will always be 100% of what comes in. So no matter what, you can't go over 100%. Dollar comes in, you've got a dollar. That's 100% of the sales. Your costs will always run a certain percentage, as will your business expenses, ultimately leaving you a final percentage for your profits. So it might look something like this. Using our example, sales was $150. That's 100% of what came in. The cost of goods were $100, which meant out of that 100%, 66.67% is set aside to pay for the cost of goods. That left for gross margin, the 33.3%. So that $50 that was left over for gross margin is 33.3%. You might recall that number from our earlier calculation. Now this means we have 33.3% left to pay for any other expenses the business has, plus cover any remaining profits. And let's just say in this particular business that their expenses tend to run 15% of their sales. So now we can assume that 15% of this sale will be needed to be set aside for their expenses. So we take the $150 times the 15% tells us that $22.50 needs to be set aside for expenses. And if we plug this into our calculation, it looks like this. Sales of 150 is 100%. The cost of goods of $100 is 66.67. The gross margin was 33.3. .3, but from that, we're going to deduct the rest of the expenses of 15% for the 2250 that leaves profits of 27.50 or 18.3%. And you're gonna notice that that $50 that we added for the markup covers the expenses and the potential profits. The 22.50 plus the 27.50 gives us that $50 and that's what the markup covered. However, your gross profit was that 33.3% and your profit margin, which is the final number, was only 18.3 none of which match 50%, but it is using that same dollars. And that's why it gets so confusing because the dollars are there, but what we call it and the percentages can vary wildly. Now, I really wanna throw you a curveball. What if your expenses weren't 15%, but they were 25%? Well, if that's the case, then we'll take the 25% times the 150 and find out that we need to set aside $37.50 for our expenses, but that leaves only 8.3% for our profit, which drops that down to $12.50. So you can see that the markup still remained the $50, but how it was allocated changed. So your profits can vary greatly if that markup doesn't cover the expenses correctly. This is one of the main reasons why you need to understand the difference between markup and margin and how they each play a role in your pricing. And while I'm keeping this very basic, most small businesses do not have very complicated profit and loss statements. So this is going to work the vast majority of time to help you get a basic understanding of your business. Now, before you go, let's take a look one more time at the difference between the two to make sure that you fully understand. Markup is the difference between the purchase price and the cost. It is often used to cover the remaining business expenses and potential profit. Your margin, on the other hand, is that markup number, but it's expressed as a percentage of sales. Basically, what percentage of the sale is left to pay for those expenses and the potential profits. 
just to give you an idea of how different these two can be, here's a little chart that shows you markup next to margin. And you're going to notice that as you move up the line, that difference becomes greater and greater. And by the way, if you want to learn more about how to use markup and margin and how it plays into your pricing strategy, I do cover it in my pricing and profit and loss videos that you can find here on the channel. So don't forget to hit subscribe so you can continue to learn with me. I promise the more you do it, the easier it'll get.